Yo, it's good guys, it's Beach. Today we're gonna do um, an overall fundamental video of Rocket League. So we've done like four or five fundamental videos of Rocket League explaining how all the different fundamentals work in different aspects of the game. Now we're just gonna put it all together and simplify it. With that said, the reason I'm doing this video, I just wanna apologize is because I sat and recorded the mechanical video for about two hours explaining all mechanics and drills. And let me show you guys kind of where we're at. I did power shooting, basic advanced, all of this down to tornado flick. When I got to tornado flick, I'm like, I've been recording for two, two and a half hours. And a lot of these things, I was just kind of zoning out. I wasn't like giving the best information. So I just deleted the footage. I was annoyed with myself. I felt bad. So I deleted the footage. I got all the way down to here explaining it and like, Again, I felt bad, so we're just gonna restart. Give me two or three days, that video will be out. It'll be an in-depth mechanical guide on how to break down mechanics. With that said, today, I think today will be still a very, very good, valuable lesson. This will be all of those fundamental videos bunched into one, how to implement that, how to just really simplify the game, okay? So we'll talk about that in a second. With that said, I am going to do two follow-ups next video for coaching. I finished two more coaching. We've done a full, they've gone through a full week. I'm gonna kind of show the reviews where they went. Now that here's the cool part. We're gonna do two more giveaways for coaching. With that said, how do we enter? Coaching with the heart, put your Discord name after. Join my Discord, I will ping you if you've won. I will ping a, with the winners on the giveaway, okay? Um, I, had I had a lot of people last season, or last video, that didn't give me their discord names that didn't join the discord so when i pinged no answer and if you don't feel comfortable um i just want to clarify if you do not feel comfortable putting your discord name in youtube comments i understand i will also screenshot the winners and i will put that in discord and you can pm me and prove it to me okay coaching with heart discord name after if you don't feel comfortable just join the discord join the discord either way i ping there when you win cool so what we're gonna go over is fundamentals in Rocket League. Here's the thing. I went over, like I said, four or five videos. Let me close out that Google Chrome because that takes about half of my PC usage. Not actually, but fundamentals in Rocket League. What does this mean on those different videos? Essentially, the whole part of the game is playing quick, making quick decisions. That's your mindset, is how fast can I make a decision? How fast can I gain control of the ball, okay? Make a quick decision, don't hesitate. That's your mindset, okay? lock in kings and queens that's how we lock into the game quick decisions no hesitation worrying about ourselves not our teammates now with that said how do we play around teammates and opponents just follow this simple rule okay you ready if you're on offense and your teammate has one to beat you play aggressive any other scenario if your teammate has two to beat you play passive if you're on defense and your first man and the ball is on the ground you're on the ball. If the ball goes into the air, you rotate out. That's it. We'll iterate that one more time while we queue. I dropped a little bit. Don't judge. If you're in, if your teammate has one to beat on offense, you may cheat and play aggressive. That also applies to counterattacks. However, any other scenario, you are playing your first man's weakness, your weak, his weak side. Okay? That's it's just that simple. And I like to say weak, weak, weakness is usually backward on defense. Now, with that said, how do we play defense? How do we rotate back? If the ball is on the ground in your first man, you attack the ball. If the ball is in the air and your first man, you rotate out. Let's get it. I will talk about what we're doing, how we do it. Let's just get straight to it. I also turned on MMR for people that were asking. Let's follow. We're gonna let teammate go for that. I'm gonna speed out and speed back. He didn't grab boost. And that's okay, because I can make an easy save. How fast can we get control? Not very, why? Because I get 50. I would say let's get 50 though. Oh, that's right, the boost count thing. I'm just gonna grab boost, bail out. Ball is on the ground, so it's mine first. Nice little air dribble bump by him. Let me take my hoodie off. Oh, it even shows it in the replay. Cool. I was really worried about that. Okay. Nice surgical bump by him. And that was the punishment of my teammate not being back behind me in time. Right? If he rotated out sooner, as soon as they went to the air, great. He's on the ground, so what am I doing? I'm pressuring. Did I go fast enough? No. I'll help my teammate out. Why? Because he was slow. Can you help me out here? 
He has 100 boosts. Let's see what he's got. An edge dribble right into them. I cheat into the middle though. Why? Because he has one to beat. Now we're on defense. He's on the ground, so I chow. How fast can I control it? Give it to my teammate quickly. Now we're in a 1v2. Somehow he's attacking the guy in the corner, which is fine. Happens. Can't do much about it. Can you counterattack quickly? No. So I cover his weakness, which was a shot, but I wasn't ready. We're going to air dribble this. Bad plan B attempt. Snuffed it. This boost should spawn for me. I got air double bumped by him last time, so I expect it this time, and I'm just gonna shoot. Again, we're ready for his weakness. My teammate's weakness is there, right? It's the net. Why? Because he's getting air double bumped. I gotta be ready for him. What do I do? I counterattack incredibly quickly. Why? Because they're cheating up. They're too far up. Counterattacking is counterattacks are so important in this game, and people just don't realize it. Being able to attack the other team's net off of defense quickly is crucial. Because at that point, you don't even have to be better than your opponents. You just have to be faster for one scenario when they're not ready for you to be faster. Very bad touch by me. Hopefully teammates got my back. I'm going to go backboard here. Why? Just to make sure. He hesitates, so what do I get? A free challenge. Lob that up. Push it middle. They're ready though. Since he's on the ground, what am I going to do? I'm going to pressure him off so the teammate gets to go. Ground, so what am I going to do? I'm first mid. Does teammate have my weakness right now? I have to have his because he's first, right? They're on the ground, so he's going to play it. I did not mean to bump him. I meant to just push it by him. My teammate is second man. What's his job? To buy time for me to get back. Did he do that? No. Why not? Because they had a quick counterattack, right? He got to the ball real early. My teammate completely griefed on the challenge. It is what it is, right? That's two fundamentals being broken. Or that's one fundamental from them being good and my teammates being bad. I'm gonna go sidewall. I'm gonna fake challenge. Why? Because he's in control. I 50 50 that off net. But nonetheless, bad 50. I get boost and I'm also dead. Other boost is up, so I'm gonna spawn over there. Nope, not lucky. They're double committing, which is nice for me, I guess. Ball was in the air, so I'm just gonna let teammate go. I'm playing his weakness. Why? Because we're on defense. We're not actually getting to play offense because he didn't have a great touch. I shouldn't have pinched that, but I get a dunk. And I get a bump. Teammate gets an open net. Happens. I'm back. Why? Why is my teammate pre-jumping there? Because he can't help me out if he doesn't pre-jump there. I flick over first man. I go for a fun, good flick. Why? Because that helps me change the direction of it. So, look. I play... What do I do? What does my teammate do incredibly well? He goes for the ball well knowing there's nothing else he can do to help me. So, he just scrambles. He broke the fundamentals to be smart in that situation. That's situational awareness right there for my teammate. Open that. Beautiful. Very, very, very good, strong situational awareness for my teammate right he broke the fundamentals to help me out and he and he rewarded us very very well and what did i do very well on that counter attack i gained control of the ball incredibly quickly where they weren't ready for that first flick over they got that first man challenging me what did i do poorly there exactly what i was talking about he gave me boost i get to go fast there's two people up i have my teammate's weakness which is just kind of in the net Quick counter attack. Does it get us another goal? Of course it does. Why? Because counter attacking is so crucial, okay? You can just fire shots at the opponents if you would like to. Again, we're talking about fundamentals here. What is my teammate doing? I have one to beat, so he's harassing. What am I doing? I'm just pushing the pace of counter attacks, right? This game is fast. Think of quick decision making, quick, think of speed. Think of like not hesitating, right? I make a decision, I do it quickly, it works. Same concept. It doesn't work sometimes. What is my job to buy time for my teammate? How do I do that? By just doing nothing, I guess. Covering his weakness. Controlling it quickly. 
my fault. Why? Because I missed it open there. He's on the ground, so what am I going to do? Teammates in the air. I'm covering his weakness, which is the net. He had such good control, though. He had decent control that I could just... And GG's. My teammate had good enough control where I could go get boost. I had enough time because my teammate controlled it. It should be GG's right there, though. And that was a really rough game from the start. Here's what carried us this game. Was it fundamentals? It may be a bit. My teammate broke him a bit to actually help us a lot. Now, with that said, what really helped us was just the speed and decision making. What helped them? He had two goals, and I believe both of them were just dusting us by not hesitating. I want players, I want you guys to not be afraid to lose rank for being out of control a little bit. It's okay to sacrifice a little bit of speed. I'm sorry. No, it's not. <laughs> it's okay to sacrifice a little bit a little bit of control if your intention is speed while still being under control. And what does it mean to be fast? One, beating your player, your opponent to the ball. EO beach editing here. I just want to go over two things real quickly. Um, first thing we're going to talk about is this boost thing, boost numbers next to their names. I think it's kind of cool. I think objectively it's cool knowing your teammates boost numbers. Uh, you don't really, I didn't really use it much. I haven't really used it much on my first few games. I'm sure I'll kind of like become more uh, uh, adapt. I might adapt to it a bit more, but then again, like with once you have a lot of games, since you don't really use it, but it is nice to see. I think it's nice. I think it should be, I think it should be in the game objectively. Now with that said, I think teammates are going to flame each other using it being like, ah, bro, you had 25 boost. You could have saved that or like, ah, oh, you could have been there. You had enough boost. And I'm just going to, that's going to be a headache to see. And I hope to God the community doesn't use it negatively. Now with that said, Game number two is pretty important to watch. I've had a lot of people be like, ah, how do you play fundamentals around tilted teammates? How do you play around tilted teammates? How do you deal with them? And it's just like, you know what? Like, you're going to get tilted teammates to play incredibly bad. Just try to keep your composure. Um, he was typing to me, all of that stuff. I finally gave in at the end of the game because it was already lost. But I kind of talk about that shit too. So make sure you watch all the way over to that too. Just game two is really important if you're looking for that. Um, with that said, like I said, this is just a wraps of all the fundamentals together. Um... It'll help you. Yeah, I think it'll help a lot. If you guys have questions, leave them in the comments. Like I said, coaching with a heart, Discord. If you guys make it to the end of the video, appreciate you guys. Like it, comment, whatever you guys want to do. I will catch you guys in a couple days on that mechanics video. Peace. Let's get to the game. I'm just going to remove last game. DC's stupid shit. We're just going to go to the next game. That we went down to, and then our teammates stopped playing. So we're going on to the next one. So we lost last, but we'll do two more. And this is what it is. Let's see what we got here. That's a lot of power that he got there, so well played. Teammates there. I'm there. I go over him because he's challenged me early. Change directions last second. I shot last. Alright, see what we got. Why did that get us a goal? Because we had a quick counter attack off a of fast uh, bounce dribble. Bounce dribble. Teammate has one to beat, so what do I do? No, he has two to beat, so what do I do? Back up. Control it quickly. Teammate's going to take the boost, so he's also going to take the ball. Now, he has one to beat. What do we do? He has no control. Happens. I'm just chasing right now. I'm going to bail out of the situation that I was in. Teammate has two to beat, so what do we do? We play a weak. Fake chow. Why? Because he has control. Fast counter attack. Why? Because we have control. Bad reset though. I gotta scramble back here. Teammate's job is second man as to what? Buy me time. Did he do that? He bought me barely enough time. And he's gonna go up first because he was far post. Doesn't do much for us though. No, that whole situation's bailed out. Why? Because their whole situation is so much easier because my teammate dove. As last man against an a questionable challenge. So it happens. I should have gone backboard. Again, if you're second man, backboard's probably the safest place to go. And it was there too. So I'm here, backboard Why? Right, I can just lob it up. I have to jump off the backboard that avoid my teammate. Fair enough, this happens sometimes. Nice 50, okay, pressure. He has one to beat, so I'm there. I don't want to dive that, why? Because I want to be able to get back by the time they're ready to attack us. And that's what I'm doing. He just goes. He doesn't care that I was there. Fair enough. 
Again, I have the catch. Teammates panicking. Bad 50 by him. That was my fault, though. I didn't play the counterattack quickly. What did I do? I let the guy challenge me when I was trying to counterattack. I'm just going to get out of the way. They're going to go back. Game control quickly. Flick fast. Force two of them to go. It should just be an open net. It's a hard shot for some players, I guess. Fair enough. We're going to go for the dunk. Nice. Why do we go for the dunk there? Because I need to score myself. There's two players back. There's nothing really else I can do to outplay them. So I just need to go for the dunk. I need to get the goal there. Because my teammate just went for a crazy ball and missed, unfortunately. And it's part of the game. It's an interesting kickoff follow. Misses the shot. I'm going to go here. Just kidding. He wants to go. I'm going to bail. I'm just going to leave. Teammates on the ground. Harass. I'll cut. Control quickly. I didn't get full control, so what happens? I get challenged quickly. He's whiffing. That's not a control play. I'm going to boom this because he cheated up. I thought he was going to cheat up farther. Nice save. Teammate should be able to pressure. He has two to beat, so what do I do? I play his weakness. He still has two to beat, so what do I do? I play his weakness. It started to shift to one to beat. Why? Because his teammate was out. I'm just going to do that. There's no point in overcommitting. I might have overcommitted. No, my teammate's okay. I was going to say I thought I bought him enough time, but maybe not. I'm going to help him out here. I did not want to pop it against the wall. Unfortunately, I did. I forced him to pop it into the air. Teammate can help me. My bad. I My whole goal there is to hit it into the air, right? My I fucked up. Whatever. I meant to pop. I didn't mean to pop it. I forced him into the air. My teammate didn't jump off the backboard because he's not comfortable jumping off the backboard. That's why you got to get comfortable being on the backboard. My bad, though. I accidently popped it up when I didn't mean to. I got faked. Good fake. It's another goal. I didn't buy him enough time. My bad. I'm backboard. Why? Because it's easy to play as second man. I get boost and I go back, back to backboard. I think it's just a goal. Nice shot. All right, that one. Again, counter-attack concept, what does he do? He just plays it quickly. Well played. No. I don't trust you. Right. I said the wrong thing. That's my fault. I'm just gonna include this into the game, into the video. That's just what you have to deal with, even in GC2, GC3. It should be a counterattack for him, but he's chasing me instead. Obviously, I wasn't really trying to get a counterattack there. I was just hitting the ball, or air dribbling it, there dribbling it. And the game's kind of over here. <laughs> We'll give him the ball. Never mind. Good chow. Jid middle. He can chow for me, maybe. I just made that easy to save. Ooh, good touch by him. It's not worth tilting over. I just had someone else do this baby rage shit. Here's the beauty of these situations. You can get upset and you can get frustrated with these players. And oftentimes I do on stream just because I have to sit there and talk and stuff. With that said, let's look at his title. Season 9, he was 1,500. I know like GC was like 1,500 this seasons. He's gone up 150 MMR in how many seasons? How many seasons is that? Let's see. 9 to 14 is 5, plus another 14. Almost 20 seasons of Rocket League. He's gone up 150 MMR. And he's sitting here and being a little, like, 
toddler almost over the game. The way I see this player that's being cocky to me, where I said nothing, that's like a dad that play, that's like at t-ball practice with his son. Except the only problem is his, the dad is being an asshole to the son and his other kids. And the biggest problem of it all is the dad is actually still on the t-ball team. He's not the coach. He's not a parent watching. He's actually still playing t-ball with the kids. He just doesn't learn, doesn't get better, and here he is, just flaming the kids that's next to him that are like, just climbing past him eventually. So it is what it is. He gets a really good first touch into a really good reset, but I'm still there. I spoke by him. So fundamentals went to save us last game. I, sh I shouldn't have typed him, that's my fault. We still had a chance, we were only down two. Try to beat him all the way cleanly. Top right. Nice shot by us. Again, counterattack concepts quick. <laughs> last game is just to show you guys. I'm going to leave last game in. I could also leave the other game in before that, but at that point, it just is what it is. It's just people quitting before the game is actually over. Why do I stay back? To cover his weakness. My teammates are harassing the ball. He's going to leave me. I'll challenge on the ground. Teammates got the backboard a second. Ball's gonna go to the ground, so what do I do? I pressure the ground. Teammate has the ball in the air. I'll help him out, because he didn't want to go. Boost is gonna spawn. I have ball on the back. Ah, I missed. My bad. Bad play by me. And I fucked up again. Okay, we gotta scramble back. We're trolling. Ball's on the ground, so what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna harass. Put it in the air. I trolled the sequence there, right? But I was playing, like, fundamentally, so it kind of works, because they think I... It looks like I know what I'm doing, even if I'm fucking up. I couldn't get the bump. I actually did get a bit of a bump. Force him to jump the demo. What does he lose? Control. He's gonna have to jump to save. I take boost and I'm gonna leave. Terrible shot. Fake the chow. Falls on the ground, so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go first. Force him to stay low. Teammate gets a free ball. Good composure by my teammate. I force them to do something by challenging. As his first man, that's my job. Beautiful play by my teammate. Here's the thing about Fundamental Rocket League. You could fuck up mechanically with Fundamentals, but it still works. Right? We didn't get scored on. Why? Because I played Fundamentally and my teammate played Fundamentally, even though I was just fucking mechanically trolling. Teammate has one... A teammate has what? Two to beat there, but since they both jumped together... Oh my fucking god, I hate this car. Blame the car, I don't know. Should be up three. My bad. Since he has two to beat, normally I should play safe, but since they jump together, they essentially take themselves out of the play. Make themselves one player. I hesitated there. What happens? I get beat. Teammate should have a pretty easy touch. Which turns a little bit more difficult. Why? Because they pre-jump and they scared him off. Teammate has a decent amount of boost. I'm gonna grab that pad. No, I'm not. Just kind of hit it off to the side. I should have missed that open net on kickoff, but it happens. You can't do all and shit like that. No, that's what I'm doing. That's okay. I lost control. But I'll help my teammate out. Why? Just by getting a demo. How do I help him out? Fundamentals. How does he help his teammate out? It's fundamentals. I'm on the ground. I'm still kind of near the ground. I can help out. Again, same concept. He's gonna really chow. Smart of him. I missed the demo. We actually pinched that, which helped us out more than it should have. Far down, into the floor. Teammate doesn't read it. We should be up two now, but that, like I said, you can't dwell on that, but it's really stupid missing open nets at my level. Let's keep going. And again, I missed another open. I didn't think it was open, though, to be fair. Just block is clear with my dodge. I can grab mid boost. Teammate can just kind of air dribble, reset shot. Nice save by them. Again, teammates kind of up far, so what I want to do, I just want to be there to pressure when they catch. And what was I doing? I was there pressuring when they were on the ground. Because he became second man, because he went behind me, and I became first. Why? Because he went behind me. And then my job is to pressure them while they're on the ground. Same concept here. Look how hard it is for them to attack. Why? Because I'm harassing. Did I buy my teammate time? Of course. Fake challenge that. Fake challenge this. What are they doing? They don't know. And I'm still first. 
so I can harass my teammate actually he came first man which is good of him he didn't need to I need to buy my teammate time here why because he's rotating out I win because I'm trolling teammates got me though Here's here's the thing you're gonna win games playing fundamentally and you're gonna lose games playing fundamentally like last game was just a troll I've had two troll games today For the videos and like the first game's not even worth showing where we lost this game that last game was kind of worth showing Like hey, you're gonna get a teammate that tilts. Hey, it's like does it suck? Yeah, but like also you're they're gonna call you shit us analyze the situation like cope with their tags or something Did I troll there a hundred percent why he had one to beat what did I do? I played his weakness I was more so because I was ranting about something else. What do we do? It's time for us to buy time for our teammate to get back. I'm gonna take this boost though so we can grab pads. I go backboard. Why? Because he's gonna come to me. Should be a relatively easy save. Um, he uses his reset right away where he doesn't have control. I should have jumped sooner. I'm gonna go grab boost here because I can cover my teammates weak with it. I put it behind him because I'm trolling. I had to try it, right? Because we're up two. Might as well give it a shot. He's on the ground, so what do I do? I stop. See how it makes my teammates' job significantly easier? Fake challenge. Why? Because the game's over. See how it makes my teammates' job so much easier? Reset shot. Makes my teammates' job easier. And even if you mess up, you still follow these like fundamentals that are so so good so let's go back over this this is just how you implement overall fundamentals in like game sense there's very few there's one or two times this whole grind where i like, can actually actively think about like my teammate broke fundamentals and it worked and it was the guy where it was where the guy went up for the air dribble my teammate demoed him out now with that said that second game that we had that i showed the second game same thing my teammate just was like i'm done we lost we're down to we'll leave that game that next game we were also down to except it was later in the game it's like you can see how much i'm doing compared to my teammate and it's not because i'm like this most the most mechanical player it's because i understand the game considerably better than him and he's gonna call me shit. he's gonna call me all of this and that just don't let that bother you. It's really, really tough to say. And especially with someone that's trying to climb to the top rank. 9 MMR matters to me. Like, seriously, it does. But then again, just try to stay composed. That's why we have the name Composure. It's just staying calm, staying relaxed, being able to go to the next game fully calm. And if you can't do that, that's okay. Take a break. Take a five-minute break, come back. That's what I do a lot. I do it on stream. I go watch YouTube videos. With that said, hopefully you guys, if you guys made it to this part of the video, hopefully you got something of value. Seriously, I really, really hope so. Again, this is just breaking the game down into fundamentals. But all of those different videos we did, it's just putting them together. It's, they all follow the same concept. Um, again, you're going to win games, you're going to lose games. When I, I lost that game, I played well. It's not like I was playing mechanically fucking terribly. Or like, maybe I was playing mechanically terribly, but... I wasn't playing fundamentally terribly, right? It, it is what it is. I'm gonna get that mechanical video out for you guys soon. I appreciate you guys getting me to a thousand subs. We're almost at fucking, I think we're at 1.5s now. So here's the 2K, I don't know. Fucking let's ball. 